national tension and intrigue. He's the secret agent. Patrick McGuhan is John Drake. His job is to uncover the schemes of the most dangerous criminals in the world. With the globe as his office, his assignments take him to the most colorful corners of the earth. Wherever John Drake is, you can expect romance, suspense, excitement, and adventure. Join us for The Secret Agent, Sunday night at 11. WOSU, TV 34, Columbus, and WPBO, TV 42, Portsmouth. Many of the Flash Gordon serials you've been watching were made popular back in the 1930s. Now let's take a time capsule look at some of the highlights of the 30s. You know, it uh, gives me a great thrill to uh, go out there on the diamond and on the pitching mound to pitch to some great hitter with two or three men on bases and get them out. You know, cold chill just goes all over me whenever I get that man out. Jerome Dizzy Dean, star pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, the famous gas house gang of the 1930s. Together, Dizzy and his younger brother Daffy, also a pitcher, won the 1934 series against Detroit. Then when Daffy got married, Dizzy gave out with some down-home advice. Well, Paul, you got married about a month ago, and I've been married four years, and I want to give you a little advice on married life. Always wear the pants of the family, and don't go in there and sweep floors and wash the dishes like uh, they're going to ask you to. Beat a big boss, see, at all times. Is that so? You might be the boss on the mound, but I'm the boss at home. Here, go in and sweep that kitchen. Dizzy Dean threw his final ball for the Chicago Cubs in 1941. He became a baseball announcer, a Hall of Famer in 1953, and died in Reno in 1974. Ever since man learned to control other animals, he has shown an odd tendency to teach them to perform in human-like ways. The 1930s were very big for water sports, and a lion tamer in Florida taught his favorite animal to aquaplane. A common expression of that period said that next to women, a man's best friend was his dog. Then a dog should certainly be able to partake of one of the fastest growing sports of the decade. And surely enough, another Floridian made a real sea dog out of his favorite pup. Now we all know of the water buffalo, but both men on New York's Hudson River could hardly believe this elephantine mirage in 1937. As World War II approached, this sort of clowning around fell off. And since then, it's hardly made a ripple. The Big Apple was the dance craze of the mid-30s. In the words of show business magazine Variety, it required a lot of floating power and fannying. The dancers combined such steps as Black Bottom, Shag, Susie Q, Charleston, as well as old square dance turns like London Bridge. somewhat reverent note, with everybody seeming to direct an invocation to heaven. There had been widespread tampering with pushcart scales. Buyers were being cheated. So in 1935, New York City's Department of Public Markets decided to crack down on dishonest peddlers, revoke quite a few licenses if they had any at all, and hustle some of the really bad apples off to jail. While in contrast, other pushcart merchants earned the city's praise. One of them an award for cleanliness from none other than former Governor Alfred Smith. I congratulate uh, every vendor of vegetables and fruit that has his uh, enterprise as clean and as neat as yours. We'd have no trouble in New York in making it something that people could speak about from the standpoint of cleanliness. I got a good pineapple, red fruit, orange, tomato, cucumber, paragraph, onion. We're kicking off auction 34. Be a part of the fun. Call 421-4510 to find out about volunteer opportunities. Public broadcasting from the Ohio State University, WOSU TV 34, Columbus, and WPBO TV 42, Portsmouth.
Sunday at 7. Tune in for Hillary's Challenge, Race to the Sky. In his youth, Sir Edmund Hillary climbed to the summit of the world, challenged the gods, and won. Now he will try again. In powerful jet boats with his companions, he will follow the 1,500-mile course of India's holy Ganges River from the sea to its raging headwaters. Join us for Hillary's Challenge, Race to the Sky, Sunday evening at 7. This week on The Jewel in the Crown, the shadow of revenge pursues Ronald Merrick. Where's the stone this morning? The first evidence of that is to have been carefully tracked down since leaving my opponent. This is their last opportunity. I can hardly follow where I'm going. The Jewel in the Crown on Masterpiece Theater. The 1985 Rose Bowl. He's a lone wolf in a world of international tension and intrigue. He's the secret agent. Patrick McGowan is John Drake. His job is to uncover the schemes of the most dangerous criminals in the world. With the globe as his office, his assignments take him to the most colorful corners of the earth. Wherever John Drake is, you can expect romance, suspense, excitement, and adventure. Join us for The Secret Agent, Sunday night at 11. Hello, I'm Robert McNeil. And I'm Jim Lara, bringing you the country's first full hour of evening news. It's a program designed to dig beneath headlines with time to present today's important news in detail. We bring you into the reporting process and give you information you can understand and retain. We hope you'll join us each weeknight for a new kind of evening news program, the McNeil Lara News Hour. Join us for the McNeil Lara News Hour, weeknights at 6. Six and a half. Twenty-one point seven. Down, three quarters. One and a quarter. One hundred fifty thousand. Six three. Two and one eight. Two There's more to business news than just numbers. At the Nightly Business Report, we bring you the hows and whys of business news with Dell Frank and Linda O'Brien, and stock market analysis with Paul Kangas. The domestic energy group led the market into higher ground because of renewed tensions in the Middle East. The Nightly Business Report. We don't just give you the numbers; we give you the bottom line. Don't miss the Nightly Business Report weeknights at seven. From the African jungles to the green vastness of the Amazon wilds and the icy plateaus of the Arctic, join us as we venture through the untamed world. Join us as we explore the untamed world Monday through Thursday nights at 7.30. Next on Wonderworks, hide and seek. Gregory. Yes? I am in danger. I need to know how you created me. That's quite some little program you've got running out there at the nuclear power plant. Look, why should we tell you anything? Because maybe, just maybe, you might be in time to stop a disaster. Tune in for Wonderworks, Monday night at 8. Roxy. She's a black slave, but she looks white, and so does her baby. So it's easy to switch him with the master's son so that her son will grow up to be the master. He'll soon be a young man of place and property. That's what you wanted him to be, wasn't it? Yeah, I was a Mr. Wilson. That's what I raised him for. But her plan backfires. You are your old mother, you fall down the river! I ain't only your You ain't white, no matter how proud you is. Deception leads to violence and murder. Can the eccentric lawyer, Puddinhead Wilson, unravel the mystery? Ken Howard stars in Mark Twain's classic tale of racism in early America. The touching and witty Puddinhead Wilson on American Playhouse. A Mark Twain classic, Monday night at 9. For the first time nationally on public television, Strange Fruit, based on a famous Lillian Smith book about a courageous black family in the rural south of the 1940s. Where's your sense going, child? You're wrong, Ma. We can change anything we want to. Reverend was right about that. Reverend Lord Richard's soul was a dreaming man. 
Now you listen to your mama, and don't you be making no trouble around here. I'm tired of living scared, mama. Fear is so deep in us. White folks ain't hardly got to do nothing to keep us down. Uh, uh, but the niggas are dead, nigga. You can't change them. They killed your pa in the mill. And now what they done to the Reverend? Oh, getting your name on some of this piece of paper ain't worth dying for. Mama, I've got to do this. You and Aaron are all I got left. Monday night at 10.30. Next on Frontline, they call him the king of honky-tonk heaven, evangelist Jimmy Lee Swagger. There is a God, there is a heaven, there is a hell, there is an eternity, there is a soul, and I don't care whether you believe it or not or whether you like it or not, you are going to stand before that God one of these days and answer to God Almighty for your life and for your soul and for your existence on this planet called Earth. He's a preacher and entertainer. A businessman. When you make that check out, do you? And then double it. If Jesus Christ was walking the earth today, I believe that he would use television as a means to reach the masses. Looked into a camera all night. Watch Give Me That Big Time Religion on Frontline. Television for our times. Don't miss it Tuesday night at 9. Perspective on Greatness is about the people who've made America what it is today. They're real-life heroes whose stories are more fascinating and intriguing than fiction. Perspective on Greatness brings them to you through a rare footage of speeches, interviews, and revealing commentary. They're the people whose contributions to mankind have earned them the respect and admiration of people everywhere. Be sure to tune in and find out more about the people who've shaped our world. Watch Perspective on Greatness, Wednesday night at 8. Next time on Smithsonian World, discover the people that are the Smithsonian. Host David McCullough. They're not just desk-bound scholars locked away in small offices. They work all over the world, on mountaintops, in jungles, at sea, anywhere curiosity leads them. You'll dive 2,000 feet to see things that have never been seen before. Oh, my Good. God, look, this is spectacular. Yeah, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Discover the life and work of George Catlin, an artist who captured on canvas a vanishing way of life. Take a rare journey to a land of majestic castles and sacred temples, Shangri-La, and in the rainforest of Panama, encounter the howler monkey, one of the loudest animals in the world. Desk in the Jungle, next time on Smithsonian World. Join us Wednesday night at 9. I'm Marty Stauffer. America's rich natural heritage of wildlife includes many creatures found nowhere else on Earth. Join me for a look at these all-American...